Hey everyone, welcome back to the E-Trade tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be learning how to place stop loss orders on the E-Trade mobile app. Now, this is actually incredibly easy to do, but we'll do several different examples just so you guys get the hang of it. And I'm also gonna do this on both stock and options in case some of you guys need to see both examples. So jumping right into it, in order to put a stop loss order on a position we already hold in the account, we do need to come down to the portfolio tab, second tab at the bottom, as soon as we click on that, we can see all of the positions I'm currently holding the account, starting with the coin positions up there at the top, along with Microsoft and Square. In this first example, let's go ahead and jump into Square first off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Square here. As soon as I do, you can see all of the positions I'm currently holding. In this case, all I have is 50 shares of stock that I currently own at 126.75. You can see there the current price of Square is 106.52, so I'm down about 20 bucks a share on these guys right now. But let's say I wanted to put a stop loss order on it now. In order to do that, all we would have to do is click on the close button in the lower left hand corner. As soon as I click on that, it automatically takes me to a closing transaction to close out my entire position. Now, of course, you don't have to close out your entire position. You could come up here to where it says 50 shares and type in the amount of shares that you want to sell. In my case, let's say I just wanted to get stopped out of about half of it. So I'm going to type in 25 here and hit done. Next up, I need to change the order type. By default, it is a limit order. So I need to change that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the word limit. As soon as I do, you can see all of the different order types available to me. Starting up there at the top, you can see limit order, market order, and then more importantly, all of the different stop order types down below. Now the ones we're gonna focus on today are gonna to be the stop on quote, which is basically a stop market order, and then the stop limit on quote, which is a stop limit order. The other three right below that are trailing stops, and I'm gonna save that for a separate video, but those could also be used. Now starting with the first one, stop on quote or stop market, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. From there, as soon as I do, you can see the order type changes to a stop order and there's a price box just to the right of that. In this first example, let's say I wanted to get stopped out of Square if it ever dropped down to 90 bucks or lower. So what I'm gonna do is click inside that box there and type in 90 bucks, then hit done. Let's also say I wanted this order to work good until canceled. So basically I wanted this stop to go out there every single day to stop me out of Square ever drop below 90. So I'm gonna click on the word day here and change it to a good until canceled order, GTC. Now that we've got that set up, what I'm essentially saying is I wanna sell 25 shares of Square if it ever drops below 90 bucks a share. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with a stop market order, what this is saying is if it ever drops below 90, put out a market order to sell this position. I'll take whatever the current price is after it activates. Now, during regular market hours, you can probably expect you to fill around 90, maybe 89.99, but around your stop activation price. But if the move happens in the pre-market or post-market, honestly, you could fill at any price. Let's say, for example, Square is trading for around 100 bucks a share. And when the market closes, Square is about to announce what they made the last quarter. So they're about to announce their earnings. Let's say the earnings are terrible and Square immediately drops from 100 bucks a share all the way down to 70 bucks a share. Because that move happened in the after hours, this stop is gonna do absolutely nothing. It's gonna wait until the market opens back up. So let's say when the market opens back up, Square is trading for 70 bucks a share. Well, your stop order is gonna be activated. Basically, your stop saying, hey, if it ever trades below 90, sell my shares. That's going to activate. As soon as it does, a market order will be submitted and you'll take whatever the current price is at that time. In this example, Square opened at $70 a share, so you could expect to sell your shares at 70 bucks. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You don't know exactly what this stop could fill at. If you wanted to protect yourself against that, what you could do is change this from a stop order to a stop limit order. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, stop limit. From there, you can see that there's two separate boxes, a stop trigger and a limit price. Using the previous example, let's say I still wanted to get out of square if it ever dropped down to 90. So I'm gonna put the stop trigger at 90 and I'm gonna hit done here. But let's also say you were not willing to sell your shares of Square if it was trading for less than 85. That is the absolute lowest price that you would accept for these. So what we would do instead is put the limit price to 85 and hit done. So now what I'm essentially saying is if Square ever drops below 90, I do want to get out of it. But the lowest I'm willing to accept is 85 bucks. Now the risk with this trade is you could potentially never fill. So in the previous example, if Square opens at 70, this trade would not fill because you said, I'm only willing to sell it for 85 or more. 
Now, if Square were to come back up to 85, you would be glad that you did this, but if Square then goes to 60, then 50, then 40, you're gonna wish you would just use a stop market order. So neither of these stops is gonna be perfect. You gotta keep the risk in mind. But if we actually wanted to place this, we would simply hit preview in the lower right hand corner. From there, we can just get an order confirmation, just confirming everything looks right. We're about to put out a stop with a activation price at 90, which is gonna send out a limit order of 85 or better. If we actually wanted to submit this, we would simply hit send order down below. From there, it gives me a little order confirmation, just confirming that the order has been sent. And if I wanna check on the status of that order or cancel it or edit it in some way, I could always exit out of this. And then what I need to do is come down to the more button or the menu button in the lower right hand corner. From there, I'm gonna search for the orders tab. And once I find it, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. From there, you can then see my queued order to sell those shares. And if we wanted to edit it in some way, you can read those instructions that says swipe left on order to modify. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger on there and swipe slowly to the left. From there, you have the ability to modify the order if you wanna edit it in some way. You could copy it if you wanted to duplicate it, or we could just outright cancel the order. In my case, we're just gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna place it. So let's go ahead and do that, cancel order, and then hit yes. Now that the order has been canceled, let's go ahead and do this on an options contract next. So doing that, let's go ahead and dismiss this order ticket, go back to our positions page. From there, you can see I've got an option position on coin. So let's go ahead and click on that one. From there, you can see I've got one of the March 2022 155 puts that I bought for $10.50. You can see there that this contract has also gone against me. I'm down about four bucks on it because it's currently trading at 645. But let's say I wanted to put a stop out there saying if it ever dropped down to four bucks, I wanted to get out of it. So what I'm gonna do is come down here to the close button in the lower left hand corner. From there, it brings up an order ticket just like before to close me out of this 155 put. To change this to a stop, I simply need to click on the word limit here. In this case, I'm gonna use a stop on quote order. So basically a stop market order. So let's go ahead and click on that. From there, all I have to do is put in the activation price. And in my example, I said I wanted to get stopped out if it ever dropped down to four bucks or lower. So I'm gonna click on the price here and type in four. The last thing I'm gonna do is change this from a day order to a good until cancel order. And now that I'm done with that, the order is finished. I would simply hit preview down in the lower right hand corner if I actually wanted to submit it. Now, one last time, just as a reminder, again, you always need to come to your portfolio page and then make sure you're on the positions tab where we can see all of the current positions in your account. From there, you're simply gonna click on the position you wanna put a stop loss on. So in this case, let's do square again. From there, you just need to go down to close in the lower left-hand corner, change the order type from a limit to a stop or stop limit, whatever you wanna use, and then put in the stop activation price and potentially the limit price. Once you're done with that, just hit preview, send the order, and you're good to go. Now that should really answer all of the questions you have about how to place stop loss orders on the E-Trade mobile app. But if I miss anything, or you guys have additional questions for me, please leave them down below. Also, be sure to check out my E-Trade tutorial playlist if you guys wanna learn more about the app or the desktop platform. But we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next video.